Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to the world of Hermits and Crafting. And we're here on our Mesa Plateau building our base. And as you can see, I am fully armed and ready to go because the mobs in 1.9 are unbelievably powerful, and I've been devastated. Absolutely devastated here. Look at this. All right, I'm going to show you something, and promise me, promise me not to laugh. Yeah, I'm up to 13 deaths. And oh my gosh, false to zero deaths. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Um, yeah, so I've, I've taken a couple of hits here, um, but they were all noble and honorable deaths. That's what I like to say because they were all in the pursuit of diamonds. And I feel like anything in the pursuit of something noble and honorable, you know, it, it needs a, it needs a, you know, kind of like a little asterisk next to it. You know, yeah, he may have taken those deaths, but yeah, there's. There's some reasons, but I did. I actually got four diamonds. I, uh, you know, you know, when I join servers, I always seem to fall in holes. And when I do fall in the holes, sometimes wonderful things happen, such as finding diamonds. But the problem is skeletons, skeletons of 1.9. So let me just make sure I'm counting this out here. One, two, three, four. And that's five. Beautiful skeletons in 1.9 are ridiculous. You know, first of all, I've taken four deaths trying to get my diamonds. Yes, that's right. Four deaths. Okay, so that's established, all right? Next thing, I need some bone meal to create um, some limestone clay. That's another four deaths. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's it's great. I <laughs> It's just hilarious. Anyway, um, I'm just having so much fun on the server, uh, minus skeleton um, encounters and things of that nature. And uh, But yeah, I'm just having a blast, and it's so much fun to... Uh, be on the server and interacting and hanging out. Um, but there we go. Look at that. I think that's uh, that's good. Okay. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out our white stained uh, clay here. And we're going to put that along here. There we go. I'm just thinking of all the craziness. Um, what else? So I, let's see, is that right? Yeah. Pew. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Um, this tent is going to be brown. So I decided this one's going to be brown. And I believe the brown is a seven blocks. So this was seven blocks here. So that'll give us that little bit of difference. And I think that'll look really cool. Okay, um, so like I was saying, let's see, we went and died from the skeletons multiple times. As you can see, I'm keeping my shield at the ready at all times. Um, and what else? Uh, there was a couple other crazy deaths, but now I can't even seem to remember. Okay, there we go. That's looking good. So then we're going to count this as, let's see, this is two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. I just want to make sure that stays accurate um, and that uh, we don't mess up. There we go. So we'll bring these pieces all the way across. And then, so this is, like I said, this is going to be our storage tent. Um, inside the tent, uh, we'll just have our basic, you know, storage boxes and things of that nature. We're going to need to build some trap chests. That's one of the big reasons I uh, had to get most diamonds back because I needed the iron, of course, for armors and all those good things. But most importantly, I needed some trap chests so I can really maximize the space within our storage tent here. And I think this will be really cool. Um, I love making tents, as you guys know. I've made, I've made, let's see, let's see, let's see, once I think about it. I think I've made quite a few in Scarland. I'm trying to think of any other worlds I've made them, and I don't think so. I think it's just Scar Land that we made them in, especially, you know, in our little area, our little survival base area. But I like this. It's kind of like a little corral, and then each tent will have an underground area. So let's fix this there. Beautiful. Okay, so over there, I think that's the tent that's going to have our farms. So I decided there's going to be two entrances. There's going to be farms on either end, and then our next tent over there is going to be our smeltery tent, and that's going to go down to the mines. Um, for this tent, I'm feeling like this tent could maybe have access to an enchanting table, um, something along those lines, I think could uh, be super duper cool. But anyway, um, let me add that little band of decoration detail that goes along there on the back side, and I'll be right back. We're under hostile invasion already. They're already after us. These guys have the, uh, like the scent of like a bloodhound or something like that. You know, I'm just up here inspecting, making sure everything's up to code, and they're just relentless. And, you know, I got to point out, I do love the pants. Those, those shiny, shiny pants. I'd love to wear those myself. <laughs> oh, gold pants hype. Oh, my gosh. The style, the style today. Look at that. Oh, that's wonderful. I love it. Anyway, my friends, welcome back. And we've got this uh, looking pretty good, actually. We're getting set up and I love it. Um, so, yeah, let's jump right into it. And let's uh, start kind of cutting out some blocks here and putting these little support structures in and all that good stuff and I want to double check to make sure that's in the spot wonderful wonderful oh oh we got another one uh we've got another one but before we get any farther I just wanted to thank you all so much for the amazing support on the first episode absolutely amazing from all of the scars 
all of the brand new scars that have come over and subscribed. I just wanted to stop and uh, say thank you for, for all the support and uh, welcome. It's great to have you here and hopefully you enjoy future videos and content and all that good stuff. And of course, to all my loyal uh, scar scribers out there, thank you so much for the continued support. It's very, very much appreciated. And it was just amazing to see how excited you guys were for this brand new series. So super cool. All right, so we're just bringing these pieces along here, getting them all set up. And let's see, we'll connect that one right there. Awesome, very, very cool. So we'll cut those out of there. And you know, since I've been on the server, oh, that's Bub, the Creeper Building Inspectors feed it. Oh boy, making sure everything's up to code. And of course, if you're new around here, you probably don't know about Bob the Building Creeper Inspector. Oh, oh, got another one. Got another one. So Bob the Building Creeper Inspector. Yeah, that's a creeper, but he's a special creeper. He's a creeper who inspects buildings and destroys them. That's right. Look at him over there, conspiring. I'm conspiring. <laughs> anyway, um, as you can see, we're making some super duper progress at the moment. And where'd my clay go? All right, there it is. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna do something similar we did on the other tent. We're just gonna bring these pieces up here along that, keeping watchful eyes on all angles. Make oh my gosh, my friends, this is why I knew this is why I have so few lives. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh oh, we actually need to mend ourselves here. All right, come on. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, let's get this guy out of here. Come on, get out of my village here. Get out of my corral. You come in there with your fancy little armor. But you're not any match for the power of the sky. All right, get out of here. Come on, come on. <laughs> you know, how come some people have the little power up icon down at the bottom? Um, why don't I have that? Where, where, why is that not showing up for me? Like it shows if your tool needs to like recharge or whatever um, when you're attacking. Oh my gosh, we are completely surrounded, everyone. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's good. So we're starting to get that down. It looks similar to that side. Perfect. That's all we want is consistency. And I, you know what, I need to go back there, but I'm too scared to, oh gosh, I thought that was a creeper. I'm too paranoid. I truly am paranoid. <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if I could bribe or hire somebody to be a bodyguard for me. That'd be a great option. Anyway, I'm literally going to sleep the night away or sit up in this tree till those creepers go away. Good morning, good morning. All right, so we kind of hit up in the tree and uh, we survived the night, so perfect. So. Let's head over to our little tent here where we're building our storage. So what I've done here is I've added this little piece along here. I missed that and I started running this across here and then that will uh, kind of help us line up where all of our chests and all of our crafting needs will take place. So super cool. So we're going to bring these pieces all the way across here like this. There we go and bring that over there and then. Oh, are we out? All right, let's go head back real quick and I have to make a confession. My friends I have to make a confession. I try to be on my best behavior since being on the server, but uh, bad habits die hard, my friends. Bad habits die hard. And as you can see, the chests of horror have returned uh, with a vengeance, actually. <laughs> with a vengeance. And I think that's actually enough. I think that'll be a perfect enough amount of our clay left. So yeah, I've tried to be on my best behavior. Hopefully once we get our crafting tent set it up and all that good stuff, um, we can... Uh, be a better, be better stewards to our supplies. There we go, looking good. Put those along there. Perfect, wonderful. And then we'll just bring these pieces down here like that, awesome. So one thing we do need to work on is actually getting some birch leaves because as you know, inside of a mesa biome, the leaves are not so nice looking for like an oak or something along those lines. So that's kind of what we need to work on is getting that set up and there we go. And then let's uh, make a whole, whole bunch of chests. So yeah, trying to get some uh, supplies so that we can have a nice environment around this area. So what I want to think, what I'm going to try to work on is getting, is that enough chests for now? Let's make, let's make a couple more. There we go. That's probably enough. And then let's go and quickly make a couple hooks for our trap chests. So like I was saying, as you can see, those leaves up there are not the nicest looking of the leaves of the Minecraft world. Um, so that's why I'm going to go with birch because of course it maintains that color throughout. And this is why these chests are awful. I don't know where my things are. And believe me, I probably forgot the recipe for a hook. There we go, put that across there. And boom, look at that, actually remembered. Actually remembered, wonderful. I'd love to get some props in the uh, the chat for remembering a recipe for once. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this in my inventory in case we need a couple extra. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut that in half and select that right there. And boom, we've got ourselves some trap chests. I don't think that's gonna be enough. 
Um, but I think it'll at least give us a good start. There we go. And then we'll just make a couple of these just in case. There we go. Looking good. And I'm really happy with the way this is all coming out. I think this will be really nice for our starting base. And I'm working on some ideas for our super base eventually down the road. And I think that will be really cool. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a row of them along here. So making sure this is going to be perfect, my friends, making sure everything's going to be perfect. OK, I think so. I think we're good. So what we're going to do is we're going to start placing them along here. And then let me grab out that. And then we'll just start stacking this. And this will give us great capacity within the actual tent. And for consistency, I want to make sure they're all facing the right way. Beautiful. And then, of course, this little section under here, I'm going to clear that out. And I despise my neighbor's truck. I'm so sorry. There we go. And put those along there. And then let's see, which one is this? That's trapped because you can see the little red band. I'll just switch over to my normal chest. Oh, I can't really do it. So I'm going to cut this out real quick. And there we go. So cut that out. And I almost thought there was like a little ant out in the distance. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to put that along there like that. There we go. And then we're just going to bring these pieces across here back up there like that. And then we'll put that down there. And eventually when we do get more clay, we can fill in these little cracks. But for now, I think that's good. OK, so we can't place any more of these chests along here, of course, because the uh, the chest won't open against that block right there. But I think we could do maybe some chests along here, possibly. So what if we, huh, so we would need them to be hang over like this. Let's let's try a couple things here. Let's just put this out here like that. Oh, oh, hello. You're not supposed to be here. Let's just go like this and then we'll go like that, like that. And we'll oh, no, no, I keep putting blocks everywhere. They're not supposed to be today. There we go. Do something like that. I think we can modify this a couple of times, um, but for the most part, I think this could be kind of cool. So then uh, I think we'll have great capacity within the storage area if I can actually stand up my scaffolding. There we go. So what if we did something like this? We could kind of run them like that. And then we'd just take our trap chest. We can go like that. And then you guessed it. We'll just put maybe like that right there. And let's jump down and see how this is. Goodbye, let's go. Um, yeah, I like that. And then we can even go like this, maybe like that. And yeah, look at that. This thing is starting to come out pretty cool. So give me one second. Let me kind of catch my breath. And I'll be right back. And welcome back. So I'm starting to get the dirt kind of laid out in the back here so that we can have our nice designs going forward here. Now, one thing I do need to do, if I can get all these blocks kind of, oh, we're already out of dirt. Yep, we're out of dirt. Let's go see if we can grab some more real quick. Um, so one thing I would like to do in the end of the video is also go on a quick adventure to see if we can get some birch leaves and to start maybe working on getting a little bit of uh, custom trees built up. Nothing too crazy at the moment. Um, let's see, where do I keep my dirt? There it is, but we do have some oak leaves. I do want to mix in some oak leaves just because it's kind of a natural color for the area. Um, but I do think the, having the trees in birch um, around our little spot will uh, look nice. And I think it'll have that kind of cowboy feel. And that's kind of what we're kind of going for in this particular area right here. There we go. So just trying to fill this in. There we go. And I just love having a little bit of dirt on top of the mesa. And then, oh, hello, my friend. So having the dirt on top of the mesa will, um, I think, just kind of maybe, maybe make the hardened clay not so crazy. Oh, oh gosh, we're surrounded at this point. We are surrounded. There we go. Got that guy. Man, we are becoming just like 1.9 combat expert in this video today. Look at this. We're learning. You know, you know, you can take me down maybe two, three times, but I'll learn. I'll learn. Don't worry. Don't worry. You can't get me for too long. Now, that skeleton over there, horrifying. I don't want anything to do with him. Skeletons are super powerful now, and uh, I would rather not engage him in any combat or anything along those lines. There we go. All right. So looking good. So let's head back in here. Make sure nobody's following us. Perfect. And then let's work our way up. So as you can see, I got those boxes along there. And then let's see, let me just scaffold up over here also. Beautiful. And then we're just going to go like that. And let's cut that guy out. And then we're going to place another of our crafting benches there. Now, this upper level up here could use a bit of sprucing up. So let me get a little torch going up here for now. There we go. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do up here. But something would look nice. Just a little something. Nothing too crazy. Um, just a little support structure, I think, would look make this area look nice. And um, we need to plan out, if we can still today, um, plan out where we're going to. This is just kind of temporary kind of guesswork, just to see if anything looks nice. We can always take it out once, we're, once we once uh, we kind of take a look at it. Yeah, I like that kind of. We'll see. We'll see about that. I'm not 100% there, but I think I'm, I think I'm liking that. Um, then let's jump around the side. We'll add our little posts down here. I think these look really cool. 
Just a little tie down system. We don't want our tent blown away, do we? No. All right, so then we'll cover this part out. We'll get that all out of there. Wonderful. And then we're gonna stick this over here. And we're gonna come over here and stick that like that. And welcome, welcome my friends. Come on in, come on in. Come on in, I don't have the milkshake maker set up yet, but it'll be here eventually. Okay, now the axe has a longer cooldown time, so um, we gotta be mindful of that. There we go. Actually, it has a slightly higher damage rate. See, it nine attack damage, whereas our sword, oh, our sword's gone. Sorry, I can't actually tell you what it is. <laughs> See, this is the thing. This is why I have so many deaths. They just never stop. And if you know you're having a conversation with somebody on the server, oh yeah, now you're trapped in your tent and you're dead. So yeah, that, that's my issue. That is my issue. I was so vastly unprepared for 1.9, it turns out. Um, I was just so busy with getting the roller coaster done that I just never looked at the snapshots. Never looked at them, really. And uh, once it was time to rock, I was not prepared. Here we go. Looking good. I like that. Look at this little storage chest room. I love it. Look at this. It's all nice and compact. We have great storage, great potential in here for a lot of storage until we have our more permanent base setup. Once we get some carpet, I would like to do a row of carpet along here and we can put our torches under here. But until we have carpet, that's not a thing. Um, but yeah, that is really cool. So give me some, give me some time. Let me get some supplies and we're going to head off to that birch forest and get some leaves. And welcome back. So I think we've got everything we need set up except for the shears. So I'm thinking maybe, let's just bring like five shears. Uh, I know that's kind of a crazy amount of iron, uh, especially at the start of a new series, but that's just the way we roll, my friends. That's just the way we roll. We love natural things and we're off to go get some leaves. Aren't mesas the most beautiful thing? Oh, I love it. I wish there was a Bryce Canyon variant around here. That'd be super cool. But uh, we can't stay along for long. We're on our way. Ah, oh, there it is. The birch forest awaits us, my friends. The birch forest awaits. And here we are. So now we just need to get as much of this as we can. Um, being mindful, we don't want to make the server look ugly. So, of course, we'll take these down. And then uh, we'll also just kind of, you know, knock down a couple trees and then try to replant as many saplings as we can. We need to be good stewards of the land, of course, my friends. Good stewards of the land. And welcome back. And it is becoming nighttime. So let's quickly replant the trees that we cut down. And uh, we are going to get out of here because I don't want to be caught out in the forest here at night. And you know what happens. So let's see. I think that's good. I think we uh, kind of replenished that. We've got lots of leaves. Look at how much leaves we got. We even got a little uh, bush there. And I think that'd be awesome. So we're on our way back, my friends. We're on our way back. No, Bob, the building creeper inspector attacks at all. And here we go. We are back. And look at this beautiful place. It's really coming together. I can't wait till we start building up our trees and all of the plant life around here. But let's take a look at our newest tent here. And this, of course, is our crafting headquarters. And I think it's looking great. Let's take all of our supplies and put them in there. I think that'll be absolutely perfect. And I can't wait to fully finish this and get it all set up and have our smeltery tent. And of course, a fun little decorational wagon over there. But there we go, my friends. I can't thank you enough for all the support on this new series. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And we'll see you later. A brand new series here on the Hermitcraft server. That's right, I've become a new member of the Hermitcraft server and I cannot thank the other hermits enough for inviting me to join them here. 